Hey, what's up everyone? So last week we saw the uh, corals of Aquarium Care Center and a general overview of the store and we heard from John the owner. This week we're going to take a look at livestock as well as some of the dry stock. So sit back, kick up your feet, because that's all coming on this episode of Roscoe's Reef. <music> So on this week's episode, like I said in the beginning, we're going to be taking a look at the livestock that's carried by Aquarium Care Center. We're also going to be taking a closer look, um, it's a brief, brief portion of the video, but a closer look at the dry stock, equipment, what have you, that the store carries. Um, now the one thing that impressed me a whole lot about Aquarium Care Center is that the tanks are pristine. There are so many times you walk into an LFS or you know or one of these uh, big box pet stores, and you're immediately turned off to the stock that they carry. In that, the tanks are dirty. There's dead fish in them. There's sick fish in them. They're just not taken care of very well, and it, and it shows. Well, in Aquarium Care Center, the one thing that impressed me, like I said, was that the fact that the tanks are really, really clean. All the fish are fat and healthy. There's no dead fish, no sick fish, and uh, you can sh you can see the care that's taken into um, you know every single tank that's in the store. So towards the end of the video, you're going to see some pictures that my son Scott took. I thought they were really good, and I threw them in the video just to show you uh, more of a close up and a still shot of the fish. Um, there are a lot of different varieties of fish, and they're really really well priced. When they have their summer bash sale, you got to really take a look at what the original price of the fish is and what the sale price is. It, it amazed me. And in that, uh, I almost purchased a Oriental Sweet Lips for my tank, even though I knew that my tank's not ready for another fish. But I fought it off and the fish stayed there for somebody's tank who can, who can uh, you know, accommodate that fish. So the one thing I hope that really comes across in the video is that a store like Aquarium Cat Center really cares about what they do, they're hobbyists, they take pride in, in how they interact with people and also how they take care of anything in this store. Fish, inverts, coral, even the dry stock. Um, so with that being said, sit back and let's get to the video. So now here's the inside of the uh, store and you can see by the uh, white and blue display tanks how very clean and organized this uh, display rack looks. Uh, you'll take notice as we pan back to the right. Under each tank is a number that's in the blue circle there. That corresponds to a kind of a menu and uh, before we get into that here's my son just jumping in front of the camera. <laughs> so right there you see on the left, right there is the menu and that corresponds to the number that's on the tank. It'll describe what fish is in the tank, the regular price and the sale price at that time, which is unbelievable. Now you can see all the fish in these tanks um, that we're going to take a look at are really doing well. They're healthy. There's nothing, um, they, they had no disease. Look at the size of that clownfish. It's ridiculous. Uh, so it really does your heart good when you walk along here and gives you full confidence that the fish that you're going to purchase from uh, Aquarium Care Center is like one of the best. That is not a dead trigger fish. That is a trigger being a trigger laying on its side because it's a little bit leery of everybody passing by the tank. And it's it was just trying to find a spot to hide itself in. Now you can see the variety of fish in these tanks as we go by. There's, you know, butterflies. There's that sweet oriental sweet lips that I was going to buy. And right above it is a unicorn tang that was almost white as, as a ghost. Uh, you have all kinds of trigger fishes. This, that naso tang was huge. Here's another oriental sweet lips that was, uh, these were in the bottom. You'll see, you'll notice some scratches on the tanks. The bottom tanks had your larger fish in them. Um, but the variety it was 
crazy. I mean, you would walk by these tanks and see one different kind of fish after the next. And, you know, you have your, your popular ones as you go along. Now, down here, you have the inverts and cleanup crews and um, all kinds of feather dusters. Uh, you can see how the tanks back here have sand in them to give the snails a place um, to go and also um, the feather dust is a place to go as well. Um, as you can see also, again, there's the numbers and here's the section. Everything's clearly marked. Now, this is some of the dry stock that's in the back, all kinds of lights. Um, and they had the, you can see right there, there's the apex section, uh, all auto top offs, um, there's the gyres. So there's quite a selection of equipment and anything that you can want to start a reef tank, you can pick up here. Now right here, you'll see this is where the back register is. This is also where the app uh, registry is. These are new member sections and also uh, existing members. Uh, you can find out about the app in, in the, in the uh, iStore and the uh, Android store. This section um, is huge. It's all clownfish of every different variety. Any taste that you had in the clownfish, uh, color-wise, whatever, was in this section. Um, there was something for everybody as far as the clowns and some of the clowns like i said before and i showed you before were a pretty big size clownfish so from the tiniest baby to the biggest adult you can find it in these tanks so here's some more uh Kind of fancier clownfish now this white clownfish i almost purchased just because of its uh, personality it stayed up by the glass and just looked at me like you know buy me here's some and that was an angel and there's a puffer fish that are included in it another shot at that big clownfish um looking back across the coral section you could just tell how neat and well thought out this whole entire store is and it gives you um, a good feeling about shopping here and buying here. So now coming up, uh, as I look at the Oriental Sweet Lips and that big naso again, these are the pictures that were taken by my son Scott. Uh, he really did a good job on them, probably going to be my photographer from now on. Uh, so we're going to end the video just taking a look at the different fish that were in the tanks and the stills that Scotty took. Uh, drop a comment down below if you appreciate the pictures um, and also if you are a first time uh, viewer of the channel hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you get notifications of when new videos come out if you're returning to the channel then make sure that you hit the bell so this way you get notifications of when the new videos come out as well so uh, if you like the video make sure you drop a comment down below even if you question that you have a question I, I do enjoy reading the comments um, coming up on the channel is going to be a review of the coral candy and also a return trip to aquarium care center to look at the filtration there's also going to be an update coming up which will be a rather large one because there is some new corals in the tank that I want to show you guys so as always um, until next time this is Scott and I will see you soon around the reef tank Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.